Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One, my old barn door, and I'm back with the second video to show you um, the five ring binder books that I made inspired by Gina Johnson over at the Rebookery. So we're just going to get on in because I'm trying to make these videos as short as possible, but it's been a little difficult. So on the cover, let's see, I have information on this one as well. It's 10 by 9. There's 120 pages roughly in this book with a two inch spine. Um, that 120 pages does not include all of the little pages and envelopes and extra things that I've put in here. Um, so I just put, um, this one kind of has um, a florally theme as well. Um, so I put a little handmade flower here that I made and just a few little decorations. Um, the spine is lace. And then the back um, has some lace, and I did the tissue paper effect on the the covers, so I had fun doing that. It was a lot of fun. So I'm telling you, these covers just about kicked me. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of tulle surrounding this as well, and a couple of feathers. So anyway, we're just going to go on in so that we can hopefully not make this video be extremely long. In the front cover, I just made a little pocket out of this page I just thought was beautiful that I got out of one of my flower books. And then I just tucked a couple of pretty little images in there that you can use to decorate in the book. So, have those in there. This is just a card, but I thought it was absolutely gorgeous, so I added that in there. A little bit of journal spot for you. This is a bag that I sewed on and I tucked a bunch of little scraps from the papers that I used in this book. Um, because again, with this book, the whole point is to have enough stuff with the book already that you can go ahead and start journaling without having to add anything to it other than, you know, glue, a pen, and a pair of scissors and then you're you're good to go so I tried to put as much scraps in here as I could I've um, got a tab here just stapled on there's an index card with some fabric there's lots of fabric in this book lots of sewing this is a couple of I think there's two pieces of this um, but I just thought the, the flowers with the kitty cat was pretty with the floral theme there's another tab this, I sewed two pages together, not sewed, I glued two pages together to make it a little thicker so that you could do mixed media on it if you wanted to. So you have a good, good solid page to take, you know, gesso or paint or whatever. Um, this is just a, from a children's playing card or a children's learning card, actually. Index card. It's from a Yahtzee game. Again, a little bit of Easter stuff, but not a whole lot in this book. Not as much as in the last book. This is just an envelope that I decorated with some wrapping paper. It was actually an envelope that came in the mail. It was junk mail. So, that's a scripture. And then a journal card that I sewed together. And then this is a beautiful page from my fairies book. So I thought I'd add that in there as well. So I'm trying to flip through this one pretty quick because the last video went quite long. Some uh, lined paper. This is from... I think this is from one of the my book house. And this is a really cool Christina Rossetti poem. Fabric sewn down the side. This is a pocket on one of the tabs that originally came in this book. This was also one of those old Weight Watchers um, diet books. Here's another journaling card and an encouraging quote. This just flips out and then this one flips out so you can journal in here or put pictures and then it also flips out this way. So lots of room to put pictures or journal. This is again from that little book <clears throat> that I showed you on the last video. And I just think he's so cute. This is a pocket. Um, I used some pages again from this Better Homes and Gardens new garden book. And so I added some of those, just sewed around it and made a pocket. And I put some old dictionary pages in there. This is just a scripture for you. 
some encouraging words because we all need those. And then I have um, a few of these little journal cards. You can use them as journaling. You can use them to decorate in your book or whatever. And then this is just some vellum. I found these at, um, I think it was the Goodwill store. And I think they were actually inserts to go into like a wedding invitation or something. Um, but there was a whole little pack of them. So I thought those would be cool in a journal. So I added those. Isn't that pretty? And then I love this Robert Louis Stevenson. I love Robert Louis Stevenson anyway, but I love what he says here. The world is so full of a number of things. I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. And isn't that a correct sentiment? And then on the back, it has nursery rhymes. I put some children's music in here. This is from a child craft book. Um, but I tried to put um, some of that in there so you can decorate with it or, you know, whatever. And then some little um, tags on the edge of the page. This is an envelope and it just has, I think this is a scripture. And that's just an extra journaling card that you can journal in. And then this is an extra little journaling book that you can journal in. So I just tuck those in this little envelope. And I love this envelope because it's such a pretty color. Um, to go in this book and I just added paper on the back because it was I think this was actually junk mail too love 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 this paper let me see if I can get this off I got this paper at Hobby Lobby and isn't that the prettiest paper and I thought it would be so cool in my floral journals so I added that sewed a little lace on the top this was a card actually and I just flipped it up made it a whole page and then I made an envelope right here or a pocket right here and tucked a few pieces of extra stuff in there for you to decorate in the book with some pieces from a children's book this was from a, a little golden book I think um, that was just absolutely it was in really bad shape so but I thought that you could use the colors in the pages look and he keep so I thought you could cut this up and just use it to decorate in your journal with and stuff. And some of the pages were written on and stuff. So, But I added the whole book. Some are here and some are a little further back. Um, but I thought you could use that as pages to cut up and decorate. You can use the words, cut up the words and use those to, you know, glue in or what have you. Just kind of get creative and, and uh, have fun with it. This is some more of that paper that I just love. And it says, Rejoice Always, He Reigns. God is love. So I love this paper. Um, got some fabric sewn to the top. Next card. This flips out. So it's ledger paper and a little bit of scrapbook paper with some fabric sewn onto it. There's one of those index pages from that other book. This is from that other book too. So I glued two pages together just to make it a little thicker so you could do some... Um, mixed media on that as well. I made a pocket out of this one and I just sewed around it. And this pocket is absolutely stuffed. Let me see if I can get everything out of here. I just put um, uh, encouraging words there. And then just a bunch of little small pieces that are kind of chopped up for you to be able to use to decorate with or whatever. So you got some strips and things like that. I just kind of stuffed this little pocket. And then there's a journaling card. And then this is from like a little Chick-fil-A book, I think that is where it came from. But it had some really cute images in it. So look at that. Look how pretty that is. Wouldn't that be pretty on a journal page? So I just thought I would add that in um, as a little extra something to give you to decorate with in your book. Now let's see if we can get all of this back in here. <laughs> Might be a challenge, but that's okay. We'll work on it. Okay, and then on the back side, I have a pocket with a scripture and a couple of pieces for journaling and then another one of those little journal cards that I make um, out of old book pages. And this is actually from a floral book. Um, and then it's got several of these little notepad pages that are lined and I just sewed them all together with a little bit of lace at the top. So a good journaling spot for you there. This is from a children's learning game. This is from a different little golden book. 
um, but I thought it would be cute because it's got the duck in it. So again, you can cut them apart, use the images, use the colors as backgrounds for pictures or anything like that. Um, you know, and it does have some water damage, but that adds to the charm of the book for me. Use the words, cut them out and tape them on or glue them on. So there's lots of things you can do if you get real creative. This is some rainbow lined paper. I love this. Love, love, love this page with the birds. So it's got a little um, fabric sewn to the edge there. There's some more lined paper. This I just sewed on um, some flowers and it flips open. It's got washi tape on the edge here and the back was just white and I didn't want just plain white right there. So I glued on this wrapping paper and just sewed around it. So this is a good solid page too. You could do um, mixed media on. This is a children's learning game. This is from that nature book that I got. Look how pretty. Is that gorgeous or what? Love it. So that's some really pretty, pretty images. A flashcard. This is another one of those tab pages. This is from that Better Homes and Gardens book, and it's an envelope, and it's just got, let me see what it's got in it. Um, that's a scripture or a, a quote journaling tag, and then some more little pieces of the papers that I use throughout here, uh, through, throughout here, throughout the book. And so it gives you more stuff to decorate in your book with. Well, if I can get the envelope back open, I meant to punch that so it was easier. I will go back and punch that so you can get in it easier. A couple more pages from that Better Homes and Gardens book. I think I slid the book. <coughs> Excuse me. This I just made um, a pocket from a security envelope and put you, this is actually, um, it's from that diction, not dictionary. I don't know why I keep saying dictionary. It's a calendar. <laughs> but just really pretty images. So I thought that would be cool inside the pocket um, of the security envelope where you could see it through through the plastic. And then above, I just have you a couple little tags and I think there's a scripture in there too. So this is one of those Helen Steiner Ross pages. And I just washed the edges just to add a little color. It's got a tab sewn in. Love that. And here's the other part of that bunny little golden book. You can see here where, you know, the child wrote in the book or whatever. But again, that's a pretty image. So you can cut these out, use them to decorate with or whatever. Use the words. I think this is just a little book that folds open for you to journal in. Just tucked into that paper clip. There's another scripture, one of my favorite scriptures, and I think that's a scripture too. This is from, um, I think this is from the My Book House, but I love the image on there, and I love the way the paper feels. And on the back side, uh, it talks about the crocuses and the roses, so I thought that would be perfect to go with a the florally themed um, journal. And then this one is from that same little... Um, Chick-fil-A book. So I just added a couple of pages in there. This is a little pocket and there's a little tag here and a scripture here. I loved the little, um, I've had this for quite a while and been wanting to use it and I thought it could go perfect in a floral themed journal. This is from that calendar. This is actually the front cover of that calendar but you can cut that out and use it. Cut those out and use those. And then this is an envelope that I made from an atlas. So, and then that just is from one of those children's books I just decorated with at the top. I'm trying to hurry. This is a pocket and it's just got some journaling cards and a scripture. Some more of that floral page from that Better Homes and Gardens book with a scripture and a journaling. Um, this actually folds out. So it gives you lots of room to journal or put pictures or whatever you want to do in there. This is a fabric flip on um, 
one of those mathematical pages that I got that I just thought were so cool. And these would be cool to cut them up and use them as backgrounds or something like that. This is from um, a really old school reader. And I just like the images and the colors. I like the words in it. So I thought I'd add a couple of pages in there just because I just really like the look of these pages. Here's another piece from that Peter Rabbit book. And this book has a copyright in it of 1901. So um, it's pretty old. This is another scripture just on a paper clip. This is one of those dictionary pages that I got. I think it's from like the 1980s. But I thought you could cut up the words and use those to decorate in your book with. Just sewed a couple pages together here and put a just punched out a little butterfly there just to kind of give you a little peekaboo there's a couple of really pretty images of flowers so I added those in this is from a little golden book dictionary so I just added a few pages of this in and it is old it was in really bad shape but again to me that adds to the charm this is just a pocket and I just love 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 this image so sewed them together made a pocket out of it put a little journal and tag in there scripture love these colors together for spring especially and then this is a little frame so you can actually put a picture down in there another piece from that joyce meyer book these are po poems by christina rossetti which i love and i love the images i just thought they went perfect with a spring theme this is another pocket this is some images from one of my floral books <clears throat> and in the pocket you get a quote you get some of that matte page that I gave you just to decorate with you can cut it up and decorate with that's from the Joyce Meyer book this is um, just another piece of a children's book page that I use somewhere else and then these are a couple of little cards from that floral book. And then I made a journal card and just sewed it together with a little fabric on it. So I stuffed this pocket with lots, lots of stuff. So now let's see if we can get it all back in here. But I just sewed around this and made a pocket in that gorgeous love 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 these images so you can actually cut that up if you don't you know if you don't need it for a pocket or whatever you can cut it up and use it and then these are the last two pages and then back here i just made you a little envelope and stuffed you some stuff to play with in there some more of that wrapping paper some embossed pieces just little snippets and scraps and then this is um i just sewed this on so um I could put my card in it. I try to make a little pocket for my card to go in and then my name tag on the back. So that is the second one that will be going into my Etsy store. So if you guys liked my video, hit the like button, subscribe, and um, if you have any questions leave them or comments, leave them below and um, be looking for these to go up in my Etsy shop. Um, hopefully by the time this video loads, I'll have all the pictures done and have them loaded into Etsy. So thank you for watching. Thanks for loving on me and you guys have a great day.